Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick video about the Google Android Device Manager. This is a feature of the Android operating system that Google introduced over the summer and, quite frankly, didn't garner that much attention. In fact, it was more so dismissed because if you're not familiar with what the Android Device Manager does, it allows you to locate your lost or stolen phone. In this case, you can see I've got the Nexus 7 as my device. Uh, keep in mind, this is any Android device, so we're talking about smartphone or tablet. That's why you see a Nexus 7 and you can use what you would generally use in Google Maps to try to geolocate it. Uh, it's not going to be able to here because my Nexus 7 isn't actually powered on right now and of course those are some of the drawbacks of this which I'm going to go over through the course of this video but you can locate it, you can ring the device so that once you've actually gotten to the uh, area that it's geolocated you can at least attempt to find it because as we all know GPS is not going to bring you right to the actual device itself so the ring feature is really going to be your best way of locating it in the event that you're not sure exactly where it is and you've retraced your steps as best as possible really this is more to try to find a device you've lost rather than that has been stolen and I'll get to why that is in a little bit as well uh, in the event that clearly you're not able to do the ring stage of things because you're not locating it anymore let's say it has been stolen then you can move to locking the device and of course erasing it and one of the key reasons this was dismissed in large part is because there are so many great third-party apps pre-existing uh, before Google introduced the Android Device Manager that would allow you to protect your device in the event that it was lost or stolen. Uh, far more so than this uh, rudimentary application permits, but I'll explain to you right now why this is an invaluable feature for any smartphone or tablet. Uh, for example, uh, many will consider the Device Manager Google's answer to Apple's Find My iPhone. Key difference is, is that Find My iPhone requires that you actually register with that application. If you don't take that step, you're pretty much screwed in the event that you lose your device. Here, on the other hand, you're looking at a clean, easy way, albeit not necessarily as advanced as many of the pay options. Keep in mind, this is free. It's coming with the OS. So it's nice that Google even cares enough to say, hey, we're not going to make you do anything. We're just going to facilitate a backup in the event that you didn't think about having that third-party application. And that's exactly what I experienced just a few days ago. Uh, my girlfriend lost her device. Um, and as all of us know, it's a, a horrible uh, thing to go through. Uh, new or old, it doesn't really matter if you're fond of your device. If it works, nobody wants to go through that expense. Of course, if it's stolen, uh, just as equally uh, disheartening. And really, she thought she had no recourse. The first thing that I checked was, you know, did she have any type of third-party uh, application installed? She didn't. And that's where something like this came right into action. You know, she was convinced already her device was gone with the wind and there was no coming back. This was lost in New York, of all places, Manhattan, New York City, uh, which is prime time if you're going to, you know, at least have any chance of something being recovered. It's not the best place uh, for anything to drop. And that's why I said prime time, because there's so much foot traffic, even in the ridiculous weather that we have been having as of late. Uh, but the first thing I then did was essentially get her uh, cr uh, credentials for Gmail because that's what you're going to do. You're going to go to the address you've seen through the course of this video right here at the top, which is uh, google.com, Android, and then device manager. It'll prompt you, of course, for your email address uh, and password if you're not already logged into the uh, device itself. In this case, I'm on a tablet. You can do this from a PC, of course, as well. And then you'll be greeted by what you've been looking at the entire time. You'll have a drop-down list of different devices. Clearly, I've got a pretty extensive list from all of the reviews and uh, uh, personal devices as well. Uh, and then essentially from there, it's as I showed before, you can try to geolocate. I showed you before it wasn't able to uh, narrow anything with the Nexus 7. It won't really with any of the devices I have there. You can also change the device names and... Again, this seems so simple, and so many have dismissed it because, yes, there are better applications out there, uh, but the reason I'm sharing this, the reason that I think it is such an important feature is that it works. Uh, you know, my girlfriend was able, once I used this, uh, I was able to confirm with her the location. Believe it or not, the phone was still in the exact position. I'm going to throw up a still of the actual screenshot I took at the time of this ordeal, and it was exactly in the same position where she got on the subway, subway where she thought that she dropped it, but 
she, she, you know, she spent a lot of time retracing her footsteps, trying to locate it without success. You know, she kept on going with her day like anyone would, because what else do you do in that situation? And once I geolocated it, we knew that it was still sitting in that very spot, uh, which I'll probably have on screen right now while I'm discussing this. And essentially, I told her, you know, you've got to get back there because it can be picked up. And that's why I say uh, the actual Android device manager clearly is far from a perfect solution because in the event a thief actually picks up an LTE-enabled phone like her Razer, they can, you know, just pop out your uh, SIM card and that's pretty much it. Wipe the phone, that's all. That's why there are third-party uh, options out there that take the level of security much uh, or far beyond what you're getting here just built into the OS. But again, I'll keep drawing that comparison that if this was an iPhone and you didn't, you know, fill out or actually, uh, you know, complete the Find My iPhone app uh, registration, then you just have no recourse at all. Here, at least, Android clearly, again, Google acknowledging that not everybody's going to go to install that third-party app, and that doesn't mean that they should be up the creek without a paddle as a result. So once I told her, look, it's still there, she mobilized, got to the spot, but then we were worried about, you know, what's battery life been like? It had already been in that same spot for three hours, so incredibly lucky. You know, it's not going to always work out like this, but I kept pinging the phone, didn't want to overdo it. I didn't know she was also pinging it at the same time, which clearly didn't do wonders for battery life, but the end result was once she got to the area, she couldn't find it. And I just told her immediately via text, I'm going to hit the ring feature. I hit the ring feature from the other end of the block. Now, this is in Manhattan. I'll remind you, in New York City, there's plenty of traffic noise, people noise, all types of noise pollution that could interfere. She heard her phone, basically, you know, ran to the device, and it was near where she thought she might have dropped it, but it was under a mailbox, essentially. And that was one of the reasons that nobody saw it, I suppose, through the course of this three-hour or maybe even more window that the device was MIA. She picked it up, called me on it, and the battery literally died as she confirmed that she had recovered her device. Now, I don't have to tell you how happy this made me, of course, how happy it made her that she was able to go home uh, with her phone that day because in most instances, almost every instance that I can ever think of, unless you get a good Samaritan, your phone is gone with the wind. Same applies to, to the actual tablets. I mean, these are the type of devices that if you get a thief, the thief is going to take it. My girlfriend was very fortunate that her device wasn't picked up by someone because in all likelihood, unfortunately, not to you know, besmirch the reputation of my home city, uh, in all likelihood, they would have just dumped the SIM card and taken the phone because the ESN was clean. This was, after all, one of my phones uh, that I gave to my girlfriend. So uh, a little bit of sentimental value for me, too. Just happy to see it make its way back. It would have been an unfortunate way to go out and really just an incredible endorsement for me personally uh, in Google. As usual, I'll say, because they do a great job on just about everything, but here, the Android Device Manager, despite all of the flack it's taken as being really only a way to find your phone or tablet if you left it on your couch, I've got a working personal experience of it actually recovering a phone, and in arguably the busiest city in the world. So, uh, for those of you out there who didn't know about Android Device Manager, now you do. Uh, you know its capabilities. You can, as I've mentioned, geolocate. Rename the device, not that you would need to do that because they auto-name themselves once they're actually logged into your account. The ring feature essentially uh, will blast, as you I should have shown this earlier, uh, it'll blast at the highest level your ringtone for five minutes, uh, and essentially you can also remote and uh, remotely stop it as well. Uh, but what's critical about this is that in my girlfriend's case, she leaves her phone on vibrate all the time. So calling it wasn't going to alert anyone. In fact, we're lucky that it didn't in many ways because then it probably would have been picked up by uh, someone walking by who would have heard the phone ringing and actually looked at it. Uh, but that's where a lot of people would say, why would I need something to just ring my phone? I could do that myself. Well, no, in the event, in this specific event, calling the phone wasn't going to help us. But this feature, despite the fact, of course, that she had the phone on silent because the device manager is aware this is a lost and or stolen phone situation, it overrides the system. And just as it overrides the GPS being off to geolocate, it also overrides your actual sound settings to alert you of where the phone is. So again, a great feature that I think really doesn't get the credit it should. That's why I'm dedicating a 10-minute video and thanking Google personally 
uh, because a great feature that just worked exactly as it should. And again, all you have to do is go to this address, and this is, I won't say a way to make sure you never lose your phone again, but it is a way to make sure that you have a chance, and having a chance is better than having none. And this is built into the OS, so if you're, you know, like my girlfriend, and like many others out there who just don't have an app already installed, of course, now she's interested in installing something, and that'll happen, and I can explore that for those of you interested. I do have a lot of familiarity with those third-party apps, and they're very cool with what they can do, much more feature-laden. They'll take pictures of the actual people that have the device. They'll prevent them from being able to wipe it. That's why this has been dismissed, and I understand that, but Again, here we have an actual instance of it working and, as I mentioned before, in the busiest city in the world. So the Android Device Manager, an invaluable feature of the Android operating system, uh, something that it would be nice to see Apple bring to the table. It's interesting that this was the answer to find my iPhone, and it's arguably superior. In fact, when I was in the AT&T store today uh, exchanging um, an item, uh, even though I am a Verizon customer, an accessory, I couldn't get through Verizon, believe it or not. I heard an iPhone customer complaining of that exact situation. His phone was uh, lost, and they kept explaining had he you know, filled out, or I should say utilized the Find My iPhone app, then he would have had a chance. But we all know that's just a chance, much like the Android device manager is a chance. But this chance is there. You don't have to actually do anything. And it's, uh, it's a little bit ironic that the iPhone, which is arguably the easiest device to use, which is part of what makes it so popular, is missing such an easy you know, component to prevent or at least aid in the effort of finding your lost or stolen device. So again, kudos to Google. The Android device manager saved a smartphone and at least made a small group of people very happy because uh, it didn't just make one or two people ill. Uh, as we all know, this is one of those things where we've all seen it happen, whether it's happened to us ourselves, or our friends, family members, it's just awful. So glad to see Google aware that we need some sort of backup, especially for those of us who don't already have protection. But usually after a situation like this, you end up then, of course, installing something third party because once you've made that mistake once, once you've had that experience, you don't really want to go down that road unprotected again. And even though this is a form of protection, clearly, as I've stated through the course of the video, there are a lot of other options. Of course, they also cost money. And any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.